Besides some of his more recent woke inclinations, I kind of like P.K. Subban, okay? Like, I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan as much as every other Canadian is, okay? But, and yeah, you know, you do get points docked for being, you know, French and all that stuff, but they're the most accomplished sports team in Canada. 24 Stanley Cups, even though they won most of them at a time when there's only six goddamn professional teams in the entire league. But, no, the success is synonymous with the Habs and... P.K. Subban's best years were with the Habs, and then he got traded, and he bounced around the league a couple of different times, and I think that he recently just retired this past offseason, and yeah, he was kind of right at the forefront of all of that woke crap that NHL was doing with Black Lives Matter during 2020 when there's like six black guys in the entire league, like Jerome McGinley retired, was there Wayne Simmons still bouncing around the league? P.K. was one of them. I don't know if his brother Malcolm was is still around as well, but I guess there's maybe other ones. But, you know, um, Black Lives Matter, yeah. Um, if you're good enough to get on a team, and normally with their big ankles and their weak ankles, you know, they can't skate this well. Okay, shut up, Jimmy the Greek. But when he was with the Habs and when he was out there playing, P.K. Subban was electric, an electric player. And now he's doing commentary? And he's dunking on fat chicks? I love this dude again! Ex-NHL star P.K. Subban slammed for body-shaming Lizzo. Bruh, he's taking a shot at the biggest whale in the yard? Like, come on, come on. Live on air as he makes a crass joke about the size of her lunch. Typical clown move. You're talking about her, her, her lunch? Or the fact that it's delivered like it's a clown car where you just think that that's got to be the end of it? Oh, and then it continues to come? Or is that just commentary over top of it? Oh boy, I love making fat jokes. Ex-NHL star P.K. Subban has been slammed online for body shaming Lizzo. Well, I'm going to stick up for him. Mostly because, yo man, that bitch, she's huge. Like, the only thing that needs to stand up for her is the support structures and the floor wherever she's going. Live on air by making a crass statement about the size of her lunch during an ESPN segment on Tuesday night. Sportsman Subban, 33, shocked fans. Prob if they're actual fans of hockey, they're probably wondering what team Lizzo can suit up at, in goal for them. Like, come on, she wouldn't have to move all that much. and She could just stand there. She'd be great. She'd be a fantastic goaltender if she's not bringing drag queens on stage. Like, she's also a criminal as well. But let's overlook that because of her beautiful curves. <sighs> um... But yes, as he analyzed game one of the Panthers versus Maple Leafs Stanley Cup playoff series uh, with the uh, fur, oh, fur beginning when he co-host or when his co-host, sorry, John uh, uh, Bucci Gross quipped Toronto should pack a lunch after losing four to two. Yeah, fair enough. Subban responded that maybe he needs to pack a Lizzo sized lunch. That's not a bad quip off rip. Like, especially if he was quick on the delivery. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Lizzo is known for being a fat sack of shit. Um, Subban's remarks saw fans demand he apologize to the singer. Fans. Fans. With the retired hockey player branded a clown and fat phobic. No, I'm, that's racist. You can't criticize him. P.K. Subban randomly dissing Lizzo is not on my bingo card for the night. Who the fuck is this abomination? Carolina Hurricanes insider. That's fantastic. And you have a picture of the number one draft. I, I forget. It, wasn't he uh, the quarterback for the Alabama? Uh, yeah, the Alabama Crimson Tide or some shit like that. Like, okay, yeah, he's the number one draft pick, but you're supposed to be a Carolina Hurricanes insider. Um, yeah, don't they have a game going on right now? But you're taking offense to that. Again, fan is probably applied very liberally. But yeah, why would he say, why would you want to have a Lizzo-sized lunch? What could possibly prompt him to make that statement? See, I'm not looking at it, but I put it on screen so you guys have to look at it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Be thankful if you're just... Ugh. Why did she wear a couch to the Met Gala? That's interesting. Those look like the drapes that you see in a $49.99 a night cheap motel right next to the airport, okay? Like, she at least looks, well, if it wasn't for the rip in her dress, because, you know, it was probably made for a regular-sized human being, but all the stitches are staples for that tarp ended up. Oh, no, it's actually designed like that. My mistake. Oh, and of course, she was going to a dinner party. Ah, uh, one fan wrote, Sis, P.K. Subban, really just said, Again, women don't watch hockey. They don't, literally, unless their boyfriend is into it, so just stop it. 
that's not acceptable that's fat phobic no that's realistic like this shit is funny another typed pk zuban saying somebody needed a lizzo sized lunch seems like a harmful thing to say to who the restaurant that's gonna get put out of business by not being able to supply or supply that catering like okay uh one typed pk suban randomly dissing lizzo why do they all have the exact the same formation to their tweets like does lizzo employ a bot farm because we know that she also employs a farm for something else, but... But yes, it was not on my bingo card for tonight, while well, another follower penned. PK Thuban fat-shamed Lizzo. No, her heart fat-shames her on a daily basis. Uh, typical Suban clown move. He's just the horrible on ESPN. Well, that might be true, but that statement was funny. Like, the, the, little, the little joke. I shouldn't even say statement, because that's their language. That was a fucking joke. It was an obvious joke. Would you have say... Uh, would you have said... Uh, said rather the exact same stuff if he said wow they need to pack a chris farley sized lunch they need to pack a jonah hill sized lunch like no 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 they wouldn't have this exact same energy this is just their sacred cow pun fully intended another typed did pk suban just make a fat phobic lizzo joke while another wrote pk suban at least uses semi-decent punctuation is going to have to apologize for making a comment about lizzo i doubt it because this is also black on black crime so pk can be simultaneously based and also skate because he is fairly adept at that as well so it'll be interesting uh dailymail.com has contacted representatives for espn and lizzo for comment well the lizzo ones were a little bit busy fetching her a lizzo sized lunch and the ones for espn are i don't know trying to figure out who they can fire in order to balance the books last month an internet troll attempted to body shame lizzo via twitter as a nude picture the singer was shared on instagram in 2021 resurfaced it's yeah, like a whale coming up for air the juice hit maker sorry what is that one of her songs or mating calls? I don't know. Which is an unedited picture without any clothing. Oh, oh, bro. Why would you do? Who would? Do, yo, were you getting paid for that? Oh, God. As part of a self-esteem social media campaign. Like, yo, like in order for me to come up with an, a, a fat dude male reference, like I know Jonah Hill lost a bunch of weight and fantastic to him. Now, if he could just find a funny bone. But how far back did you have to make a reference in order to get a fat guy? Like, who was the other uh, throwback one? Uh, the fat guy from Varsity Blues, Ethan Supley? He was somebody else who lost a ton of fucking weight as well. Guys, guys, if they're losers, it gets reinforced. It gets re-ingrained in their mind. So, yeah, in order to achieve some level of status, they have to lose weight. They have to become physically attractive and physically capable. Women, on the other hand, they can be fat sacks of shit and be told they're beautiful. Oh, this is all self-esteem. Love your curves, girl. And then you'll have legions of idiots, simps all over social media just try to hold you up, mostly because you need the legion to hold you up for all of your bad fucking decisions. She's not going to have to reconcile with these terrible fucking life choices until she needs a quadruple bypass. But it also did the rounds across Twitter. This is what that naked selfie. Okay, with one fan tweeted a picture of herself beside Lizzo's. Oh, Lord, attempting to shame her by asking me or Lizzo. Would you pose like a dump truck or I hope they don't No, there. No, don't No. Oh, gross. I'll just skim past this, mostly because YouTube censors. No, she was in a one piece and ugh, God, nobody should be forced to do that. But okay, cool. Is that, yo, that's a big bitch. I've never actually seen her in motion candid like that, mostly because you know, there's a size limit to most of these videos anyway. So it would eventually have to end and she'd still be in motion. But oh Lord, appearing to backfire just because it appeared oh is she talking about lizzo appearing to backfire oh, okay weird she shouldn't have had that second burrito for lunch or that second i joke second dozen oh many fans rallied to support the singer yes of course because women being fat disasters can't be called fat disasters because that's that's fat phobic you guys go back in the archives which feel free i've got thousands of videos at this point in time Lizzo went on a juice fast for some fucking reason, and uh, I said that, yeah, no, that's an incredibly good thing. I remember making the thumbnail for that one. It has the big googly eyes on Lizzo as well, and uh, people were uh, people were trying to hold her back and uh, claw her down because, oh my god, you're losing weight. You're a fat icon, and she was like, wow, um, this is kind of weird that people are, you know, 
attacking me for losing weight. Like, you've seen it happen with, what, Adele lost the whole bunch of weight, uh, Rebel Wilson as well. It's funny, they both ended up losing their relationships. One became a lesbian and the other one, well, that's a joke that I'd exclusively make on Rumble, but let's just say Adele's new partner would have been totally fine with her with the extra weight. But it's not guys making fun of them after they're losing weight, just going, oh, you're looking pretty fucking good now. Mostly because guys who are in the know know that, you know, even if a girl loses a bunch of weight, she still has that fat girl mentality. So yeah, you can just easily neg her. So hey, it is what it is. No, the people with the real vitriol, the crabs trying to pull you back down if you're trying to make your way out of the bucket, that's those other fat disasters that haven't even accomplished anything that are more than likely larger than that and have nowhere near the singing talent of Lizzo, which I'm sure I've probably heard a song from her before. I just don't have any specific references. Like, is Juice a song? I'm not going to go search it out. I'll take your word for it. It's almost like, it's almost like Lizzo is a... God, that's just that name is just so fat kind of like how bud light is now synonymous with hi but instead of trying to do right by your biology losing some weight if you were feeling better by going on that juice fast real quick and threatening to upset a very vocal minority of people no instead just try to capitulate to them draw indifference from the critics and then resign your life to being the answer to a trivia question who died by the time that they were 40 and was somewhat popular in the 2020s but with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it well follow several guts if you're lizzo take care everyone